All right. When I heard that negative 50 degree feel, oh my goodness, Kate Bow, that that's dangerously cold temperatures there. Just unbelievably cold, and it makes what we're getting seem it kind of puts it in perspective a little bit, Natasha. Yeah. It is going to be dangerous cold for us though in the coming days, especially Wednesday and Saturday. Those are the two coldest days of this stretch. But first, we've got to talk about a system that's going to bring at least a brush of inconvenient snow to the region. It's not a lot of snow, but it has been 715 days now since we've picked up an inch at the airport, and this system may finally break the snow drought, and it is going to, timing-wise, not be great because it will impact the morning commute tomorrow. Right now, you can see it has clouded over. It is dry. We had some snow showers that were trying to fire up this morning, but because of how dry the air is, dew points are in the single digits, a lot of that was just completely evaporating before it even reached the ground. So 27 degrees right now, light breeze from the west, making it feel 5 to 10 degrees colder, and that'll be the case throughout the day. As we go through your afternoon, it stays cloudy, it stays cold. The later you get, the better chance you have for a little bit of snow to start working its way into the Philadelphia area. I think we'll see a better chance to the south as we go through the afternoon and evening, and then overnight into tomorrow morning, that's when snow will break out all across the region. It's not going to come down all that heavily, but it's a long duration event, and it's light, fluffy snow that tends to pile up a little bit quicker, and that will lead to slick conditions for the morning commute. Also, watching for the chance for some dangerous sleet or freezing rain during the morning hours tomorrow. So, outside right now there's not much going on maybe a few flakes here and there this afternoon especially off to the south a few flurries may try to get into the city by the afternoon as well but as far as steadier accumulating snow it's likely later this evening that it really starts to overspread the shore points this is 7:30 this evening starting to snow across the shore and into Delaware spreading up into our South Jersey suburbs at 11 o'clock so there will be activity happening uh, when we go on the air tonight for you at 11 p.m., and make sure you tune in. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly will be timing that out and tracking the active radar. Then it fills in overnight right around the city and suburbs. We're going to see at least light snow about midnight, continuing to move through into the first part of the overnight hours. Now, there may be a little bit of a lull as we transfer the really the energy from the shore points to areas north and west. But 4.30 in the morning, we've got snow falling from the city on northwest, and then it does pick up in intensity for a time up across the higher elevations, the Lehigh Valley, the Poconos, between about 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. Right here, around 7, 8 o'clock, you can see the pink. That's an indication of some sleet or freezing rain, which could lead to very icy conditions around Philadelphia and down into South Jersey, right along 95, right along the New Jersey Turnpike. Very slick conditions there. Snow continues through at least about 11 a.m., possibly even later. I think most of it is getting out of here by noon, and then the cold will really start to settle back in. So by region, breaking this down, down the shore, the steadiest snow is tonight. We'll end up with a general one to two inches. There will be a little bit of mixing possible then into tomorrow morning. In the city and South Jersey suburbs, the steadiest is overnight and tomorrow morning, a general one to three inches with a light icy glaze possible with any of that mixing. Northwestern suburbs, it's mainly all snow. Steadiest is overnight and early tomorrow, with two to three inches likely in the northwest suburbs, the Lehigh Valley and the Poconos, all snow. Steadiest is tomorrow morning and two to four inches there, with locally up to five in the higher elevations. So, again, just breaking this down, two to four inches basically north and west suburbs up to the Poconos, with locally five inches in the highest elevations, one to three, with a little mixing possible through the shore points. Southern Cape May County and Sussex County. County may see some slightly lower totals thanks to a changeover there to rain. And then a frigid Wednesday, another chance for snow comes in later Friday, at least some light accumulations there, followed by an even colder burst for the weekend. Natasha, I'll send it back to you. All right, I'll brace for this cold weather. Thank you very much, Kate.